Hey everyone, this video will show you about upgrading my laptop to Lenovo Y700 storage with a brand new 500GB WBlue M.2 SSD and I'll make a clean install on it too. So I've been looking for an SSD alternatives on the market for a while and WD Blue for me is the best value that I can get rather than to buy Samsung or Kingston SSD. In terms of performance, WD Blue is on the same level as them and I will show you the benchmark of it in the end of this video. In the first place, I wasn't quite sure whether to buy this or not since it's really hard to find an actual review on this particular SSD. Many people that especially are using Lenovo A700 are buying the same Samsung EVO 850 rather than buy anything else. So I've decided to be the first person to use this SSD on Lenovo A700. And I do know that it is a very little upgrade but it's still totally worth it. So let's go to the upgrading things. Now the first thing that I did is to make a recovery backup for my clean install later on the SSD. So what you have to do is to open the control panel, change the category to large icon so you can see all the things and open up recovery. And just click on create a recovery drive. This recovery option will make your recovery image on external drives. So I took my 32 GB flash drives and kept the recovery files there. And keep in mind that you will need a flash drive with 16 GB or more to create a recovery drive for Windows 10 and the process took a very long time so, so we're just gonna skip it out. And after it's done you will get this message and just click finish. So the next thing is to install the SSD itself into my laptop and this is the SSD itself. And you might need some screwdrivers to open the back cover and after 11 screws unscrewed, open the back cover. And this is the inside of the Novo 700. That is the M.2 slot, that is the hard disk drive, and there is a RAM slot. It was my first time experience as well to install an M.2 SSD on a laptop, so I was just kind of figure out on how to insert it, but it's not really different than installing RAM. So there is actually a screw slot for securing the M.2 SSD, but since I don't have any screws, so what did I do is to take one of the hard disk screws, actually there are four of screw that holding the hard disk so taking one screw isn't a really big problem. Then I tried to boot it up first just try to see if the laptop is the SSD. So I gotta go to disk management and it, actually yeah it is the SSD so we are good. The capacity of the SSD is 465 gigabytes so it's either 35 gigabytes is reserved. Then let's go to the installation. Uh, in the first place I insert the flash drive to the computer and restart it but it wasn't really going that way since I have my hard disk inside so I was aware if the installation will go to the hard disk instead of the SSD since I didn't see an option where to install the recovery files. So what did I do is to take the hard disk first and then since the SATA cable is pinched by the SSD so I need to remove the SSD first. Then after I done removed the hard disk I boot it up again and constantly press F12 to choose where I wanted to boot from. So I choose my flash drive and after some time it will display you the recovery setup. Just choose the keyboard layout and choose the recovery from drive and just fully clean install the PC. The process will take long time as well so you might want to do something else with this process. And then after it finished it's just gonna automatically restart your PC. So what did I do is to go to the BIOS first and look at my boot settings. I just want to make sure that my SSD is on the first place for the boot options and after that I restart my PC again. But actually the process of the ins installing the operating system isn't finished there. There are more things that they need to process and suddenly this thing come up. I have no idea about what is this, it's maybe new, i never seen this before but it's actually a personalized settings for your windows in the first time. And then after installing the operating system is done, I'm trying to reformat my hard disk. And many people say that you can't reformat hard disk if it's inside your PC. So I use some SATA extensions to make it as an external hard disk and uh, just format it all the volume and delete all of the volume. So after it's done, I reformat my hard disk, I put it back on the laptop and it's working as usual. And this is actually the benchmark and the comparison between the WD Blue M.2 SSD and the WD Blue Slim hard disk that was in my laptop before. And there is a massive difference here. And that is all from me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video can help you to find an alternatives for M.2 SSD. I must say that this SSD is very good. It's excellent but it just doesn't get the same exposure as Samsung or Kingston SD. And if you have any questions, please be free to um, ask your questions in the comment section below about this M.2 SSD. And if you want to tweet me, go to Twitter at SultanaWF or link in the description. And that is all from me and I will see you in the next time.